dissection. The equipment you're going to need is, of course, a heart. Be very hard to do a heart dissection without one. We're going to be using scissors. You don't need to use scalpels for this because it's actually a lot easier to cut with the scissors. Less likely to chop your finger off with a pair of scissors than you have a scalpel. And a dissecting needle, which is just to help you move things apart and to prize things out so you can see them easier. You're also going to need a tray. The trays are over there, and the trays are there to keep everything in. You don't want anything touching the table, including the instrument and the heart. Okay? Now, the first thing you're going to do when you get the heart is you're going to look at it before you cut it up. First thing you notice, this is a lamb's heart. It's a little smaller than the heart of a uh, human. And if you look at it from the top, it's got, if you look at it from the side, it's kind of a V-shape. If you look at it from the top, you've got four blood vessels coming into the heart. So there are four blood vessels there coming into the heart. There are two kind of quite large ones. And these, well, can you guess which they are? Are they? Aorta. Well, one of them could be the aorta. Well done. Are they arteries or veins? Then? They're arteries. Okay, so they're the arteries, and arteries pump right. away from the heart. And the ones that were kind of white on the outside are the veins. Who can name the two veins? Does anyone know the names of the two veins? Yes? Is that nope, that's the, the artery. Vena cava, well done. And the, uh, and the pulmonary. What we're going to do is we're going to put the two, when we do the dissection, we're going to actually put the arteries, okay, to the front. So we're cutting from the back of the heart. Now, if you look at the heart, you can see crisscross lines going across it. Now these lines are also where there are capillaries and arterioles going, supplying the heart with blood. Why does the heart need blood? Because oh. otherwise it will suffocate. Because it's a, what type of, it's a muscle, so it needs oxygen. It needs quite a lot of oxygen. And these are basically what would get blocked if you had a heart attack. So they go across and feed it with oxygen. Now, first thing you can do, and this is the most fun part, is to trace the path to prove that the arteries are linked to the veins. And what you do, put it like this, take a finger, put the finger through the artery, go down, and then you've got to hook your finger up once you reach the bottom, hook it up, and go like this. And then what you have here is Mr. Hard the Glove <laughs> So, push it down, up like that. And the other one, you can prove the same. There you go. Don't worry, there's no real blood in this little bit. It's blood clots, it's very clean. No worry about paying this your hand, because your hand is very fresh. Okay, you know they weren't fresh, because they'd be smelling cheesy. But they're not, they're very fresh, so it's just like handling steak. What you're going to do next is you're going to actually put your fingers down here and you're going to feel which side of the heart is thicker. So put your fingers down the arteries, feel there, and I can feel that this side is thinner. So this side must be what side of the heart? What, where would it pump to if it's thinner? Oh, it's the right side of the heart because it pumps to the lungs. And the left side of the heart pumps to the rest of the body. Okay? So the left side of the heart pumps to the rest of the body, right side of the heart pumps to the lungs. Uh, oh, well, we lost somebody already. Yeah, so okay. Do you want to yeah, sit him down? Okay. And... One. <laughs> okay. You alright? Do you want to just sit on the floor there? Do you want to go and, or do you want to go sit outside? I think you just sit on the floor there. It would be better if you're sitting inside so we can see you. Okay? Right. Happens to the best of us. Right. Now this is the bit where we're going to start cutting. Okay, now you've examined it, you've put your fingers through, found which uh, blood vessel is linked to where. Just to prove this, okay, if this is the left side that pumps to the lungs, what's this artery called here then? The artery that goes to the lungs, does anyone remember? Yes? That's the, that's the artery that goes to the lungs. What you said? Pulmonary artery. So the pulmonary artery goes through, and that must be the vena cava then. So the vena cava blood comes from the body, through the vena cava, out to the lungs, back through the pulmonary vein, and out again 
through the um, aorta. This one is the big one here is the aorta. So you can also see the difference in the in the walls. Look at the wall of this. This is a wall of an artery. And this is a wall of a vein. And this is very very muscular. The artery very very thin. The vein, but they're about the same diameter. Now the way you cut it is first you want your you want the veins at the back, and you want the arteries at the front. Turn it around. Take your pair of scissors and cutting as close to the middle as possible. Just cut down either side of this central part of the heart, just called the septum. Very easy to cut. Got a nice big blood clot there. It is a piece of meat. Okay? People used to cook, they basically they open them up like this and they stuff them with vegetables. Okay? And you open it like a book. Nice and simple, like a book, open it up. Now you can see, it's not actually easy to see the two streams of the heart because you can't, they're not clearly defined, but really the atriums are at the top here, okay? The atriums are at the top here, just up here, that's where the atriums are, where the valve, where the veins come in, and then these are the ventricles. So the blood comes down here, and here you can see the valve. Now, the best way to do this is take your dissecting needle. This is where you're going to need your dissecting needle. Just hook under there, or just use your fingers, and you can see a flap of tissue there, and that's the valve. It doesn't look like much, because you cut through it, of course. But that valve is very important. If you didn't have it, you'd be dead. Because it stops the blood, of course, from flowing back that way. Okay? You don't want it to flow that way. You want it to come in there and go out there. You don't want it to go back that way. Okay? Because otherwise, it won't pump around the body. You can see it's separated then by this middle section here, and you've got two halves of the heart. You've got the thick heart, which is basically going to be the left side, and the thin side, which is the right side, and the right side pumps the lungs. What you can do now, I've cut it and you've examined it, I want you to take your pair of scissors, and you can cut a one centimeter cross section. The scissors are still sharp, so be careful. Of the, uh, that's the, uh, the wall. Uh, of the left side. This is the wall of the right side. Okay, I want you to cut a piece of tendon which connects to the art connects to the valves. There we go. I want you to cut a piece of valve. And last of all, I want you to cut a piece of the wall of each of the blood vessels. This is a bit harder because it depends on how much your heart's been cut down. If you're really good, you can get a ring. Like that. So these are the two. Those are the two veins. And the arteries, of course, you cut through so you can't get a ring. You can cut off some of this material here, and this is an artery, and this is an artery. And that's basically the end of the dissection, and you can have that all laid out nicely. And if you've got time, tear up some bits of paper and write some labels. At the end, it's very important that you keep everything on the board, and at the end we'll bring around the doggy bag, and put them all in the bin, and then we'll bring around a disinfectant and make sure all of the dissecting needles have been collected up. Make sure